Henry Cejudo here in Ohio. First off, I counted, I think, six yawns so far. Where did you come from? It's a whirlwind for Henry Cejudo. <laughs> uh, don't, don't tell him that. I'd be thinking something different. No, um, just got back from, I was in London. Uh, I went to the Ist Istanbul, the World Championships, Freestyle Worlds, and, and then I had a photo shoot in Prague with Procter & Gamble. So it's been, uh, it's been a busy, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Now, so. Body back clock. Back now. Every time zone you cross takes a day for your body clock, <laughs> right? It, it does. It definitely, the, traveling definitely takes a toll on your body, but I think, uh, you know, you just got to find a champion you need to, you know, wake up. You know, either way, you got to wake up. You know, it's sort of like Floyd Mayweather, how he wakes up at 2, 3 in the morning and works out. I mean, that's, that's sort of what it is when you get back, working out at odd times. When you uh, look at your decision to come out, you know, since 2008, what's your life been like? It's been a lot of what you just explained, you know, a lot of whirlwind traveling and a lot of photo shoots, a lot of, you know, Oprah. What are all the shows you've been on? You just named them all for me. I asked you and you, you had to think about it, but you were on Oprah, you were on uh, The Late Show. I was on Oprah, Leno, uh, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, The Ninja Warrior Show, uh, Good Day LA, uh, Good Morning America. The New York show is like the biggest one. It's the early show. Or early show? <laughs> Today show maybe? Yeah, Today show. I was just on Today show actually about two, a, a month and a half ago. When you look at that and, and that whirlwind media tour and, and the writing the book and I, I don't know if we're going to get it picked up for a movie. <laughs> but you know, going through all that Henry, you know, three years, roughly two and a half, three years of, you know, living a lifestyle of a celebrity and now coming back into wrestling. Is it humbling to come back into wrestling now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I feel for these guys that are training. I mean, I, I lived, I, guess I can also say I lived life for, for, <laughs> for three years. It was, it was, it was awesome. I, I enjoyed it. I inspired lives. I, I had fun. For the first time, I had a chance to stay up late, eat a cheeseburger, uh, you know, even have a glass of wine. Uh, to me, that was, that was never an option. You know, from 2004, 2008. People forget I sacrificed my high school life. You know, I sacrificed everything to, to get where I'm at today. So it's I had fun. Now I, I think I still have it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm better than I than I was in 2008. To be honest with you, it's scary. I'm looking at you now, and you look trimmed down. You look, you know, you don't look like the Henry I was seeing on TV. You know, you look about <laughs> about 15 pounds lighter. You I look, look like, like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Well, you're, yeah, you're living the good life. You just said it. Yeah. But, you know, some people say, you know, I just asked you, hi, Henry, how old are you? You said 24. For someone to think that Henry Cejudo is washed up, what would you say to someone like that? Uh, I guess haters are your biggest fans. <laughs> I actually got that from Noah Thompson. He's, uh, that's a saying he usually says, you know what? Your biggest fans are the haters because you know why? Because they really care. I was like, huh, I'm going to use that. But uh, either way, I'm... I know what I have to do. I really don't let pressure pressure get to me. I learned to embrace it, hug it, uh, know it's know it's coming, and that's what's that, you know that's what makes me a good wrestler. You know, and, and in May of, of of this year, it was hard to make a comeback in the middle of Times Square versus the Russian. Uh, I was sick the whole time. People don't understand. I was just sick, man. I wasn't even gonna wrestle, but I said, you know what? A lot of people they just don't believe in me. A lot of these people just whatever. So I just you know I did it, and uh, you know it turned out well. And that's, that, that's Henry at, at maybe 50%. So there's, there's still a lot in there. When you look at the training situation at the Ohio RTC, I mean, you look, you've got three out of the top four guys at 60 kilos looking at, you know, Logan Stever, the phenom, basically a little close to what you were. No U.S. Open title yet. But, uh, you know, you went in the U.S. Open as a high schooler, and then you got, you know, Sean Bunch, Reese Humphrey, and, and an Angel coming in, Escobedo. I mean, that's right there. You look at it, that's, you know, and then, of course, 2008 Olympic gold medalist Henry Cejudo. You got five of the top lightweights in the world right there. Yeah. What do you think of the situation at the Ohio RTC? You can't beat the situation. Uh, and that's why I moved out. That's why I moved out to Columbus because, I mean, I, like you said before, I got you know four, three of the four top guys in the country. I mean, you have Bunch, Reese Humphrey, uh, Logan Stever. Uh, you got Angel now. I mean, you can't beat that. One of us, someone's gonna win a world title out of that room. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, uh, someone that can push you each and every day, just multiple partners. You know, having partners, having a good coach like Lou Rosell is going to make you better. And, uh, you know, I, I, I left Colorado Springs. I left Zeke. Uh, I, I left everybody. I left, I left my, my girlfriend out there. 
which uh, I actually got her an internship job. She's out there for six months. <laughs> but she needs to understand it's a sacrifice. Like It's just a better situation for me. And uh, she's still out there at this point. So uh, I'm out here. I'm out here to win. I'm out here to you know, to put my, you know, to lay it all on the line. And uh, that's why I'm out here in Columbus. Because if it was up to me, I'd be back in Phoenix or in Mexico somewhere. <laughs>